He was, he was 29 years old. But, but his choices didn't start at 29. I, I believe they started at your age when he was a teenager. When he said it's okay, to, it's okay to have sex, it's okay to get high, it's okay to smoke dope, it's okay to lie, it's okay to steal, it's okay to cheat on tests, it's okay to, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But one thing leads to another. And you go deeper the, the first time, you go deeper the second time. You go deeper the third time. And all of a sudden, what was okay, man, you get to a place where there's no turning back. You get to a place where you, you become suicidal. You get to a place where you become bitter and angry and resentful. You be, get to a place where, where you want to harm somebody. I believe this in my heart. That if I could, if I could speak to you, you see, I had a video. I had a video I was going to bring and show you. I was going to show you pictures of my family, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't look. I couldn't look up at these screens and see. I couldn't do it. But, but I have to believe this. I believe every last one of you teenagers in here right now, if I told you, whatever, six, 17, 16, 18 years old, whatever age you are, if I showed you a picture of a family, I said, look at this family. And if you keep making the choices that you're making right now, when 10 years from now, you're going to get in a car and you're going to run into them and you're going to kill them. You're going to kill a husband, you're going to kill a wife, you're going to kill a daughter, you're going to kill a son, you're going to kill them. And let me tell you something, man, we, we have to live with this it's, we, every single day. You know, when Mother Day come around, my little Shelly, is, she, has, she has to be raised without a mother. She gets so sad sometimes, I know it. What can I do? I was raised with a mom. I was raised with a dad. But she, Mother Day come around and she gets so quiet. And I said, Shelly, what's wrong, sweetheart? What, what's, she, she won't say a word, you know? She sta I'm taking her to school in the mornings. She's looking out the window. I know what she's thinking. I said, Shelly, what's wrong, sweetheart? Tell me what you're thinking about. She said, nothing. I know what she's thinking about. She even said this to a teacher one day. She said, Daddy, she said, she asked her teacher this. She said, Miss, Miss Watt, she said, she said, when God takes my daddy to heaven, I'm gonna be all by myself. I'm all she's got. I'm, I'm, I'm last in line for her. You know, my wife's family were from Indiana. It's Shelly, it's me. Look at how this girl has to be raised because someone made a choice. See, do you make that choice? W would you do it? Would you do it? I mean, you wouldn't do it. If you knew that you was gonna take a whole family out 10 years from now, would you, would you start making the right choice? Will you start doing what you're supposed to do, being what you're supposed to be, being accountable? That's something about being accountable. It's something about your words that are coming out of your mouth. Man, let me tell you what, it takes you, it takes you places. You know, I played in the National Football League. I played the highest level, but I never got there by, 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 by selling dope. I never got there by, by getting high. I never got there by getting drunk. I never got there that way. It cost me something. It cost me something. I, I didn't get there drinking over the weekends. I, I, did, I, couldn't, I, I, can't, I, I didn't get there that way. And most of my friends that didn't make it, most of, my, most of my friends that are in prison right now, they're in prison right now because they, they refuse to stop making these choices. You never know. You never know when the death angel is going go, to come visit your house. You don't know. But what you do know is that today you can make the choice. Today, you can do what is right. Today, you can surround yourself with people that are going somewhere. I love, I love to be in front of teenagers that, that are going somewhere. Is there anybody going somewhere in their life? Is, yeah, if you're going somewhere, you've got to, want, you've got to go somewhere. You've got, to, you've, got to, you've got to wake up on the inside of you and say, you know what, I may have made some mistakes. I, I may have gotten drunk before, but I'm not getting drunk anymore. I may have, have driven drunk before, but I'm not driving drunk anymore. I may have been high. I may have, I may have done all what, what you bad you could do, but I'm not doing it anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm rededicating my life. I'm changing my life, and I'm going somewhere. You've, you've, got, to, you've got to make up your mind. 
See, if you always do what you've always done, then you're always going to be in that place that you've always been. But if you want more, if you really want more, if, if you really desire to have the, the, the dreams, the gifts, the vision in your life, if you really want it, you'll come out from among the thieves. You'll come out from among the, dr the drug gang. You'll come out from among the, the, the alcohol gang. You'll come out from among it. Not that you say you're better than them. Not that you judge them, but, but you, that's not part of your life. You're going somewhere. You're going somewhere. And you won't be that person that has to, that has to live their life knowing that they could have they 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 done the right thing. If you, you think about this. If, 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 you know, you think about the individual that drove that vehicle that night. On November the 19th, he made his mind up. But on November the 18th, you know, somebody had to have been talking to him. Somebody had to have been telling him, don't take your life. Somebody had to have been telling him, you know what, your life is not over with. You are somebody. You're not ugly. You're not a tramp. You, you're not, you, no, no, somebody's telling, you're not a dummy. You're not a, you know, somebody, somebody was speaking to him on November the 18th. She see, or somebody had that opportunity. You see, I'm here. I'm here. I'm, I'm that person. I'm that person speaking to you today on, on, on a Wednesday. I'm that person that, that's speaking to that person that, that, that got in their mind that, that their life is over with that got in their mind that, you know what, I, I, it's okay to get drunk, that got into their mind that, you know what, I can't, I can't come out of this situation. Listen to me, you can come out. You can come, I don't care how bad the situation is. Man, I got to the lowest of the low. I got to the place where, where I didn't want to live another moment, and I fight through it daily, but, but I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out because I believe there's more to my life. I, I don't have to take my life. I don't, I don't have to throw in the towel. I, I don't care. Yeah, I'm, I lost my wife. I lost my, my, uh, my, my son and my daughter, but, but there's more to my life. And you've got to understand that whoever I'm speaking to, there's more to your life. Don't fall victim to this, to this game, to this drunk driving game. Don't become a, a, a stack. Don't, don't become that person that, that where she could have been or, or he could have been. Become that person that you know that you can be. I stand here today as a living testament that, that without, without my faith, you know, without, without Jesus Christ in my life, I wouldn't be standing here right now because he come and got me. He come and pulled me out of the pit. He come and gave me another chance. And I'm speaking that word to somebody in here that's in that place that, that you think that you cannot come back out. You can come out. There is another chance for you. God bless all of you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.